Hello, my JCC English 112 students. Fall 2019. This is week eight. Holy cow. Roughly the halfway mark of this class. So yay about that. So the last few weeks we have been working on the rhetorical analysis and we get to submit that. Okay. That's due by the 10th. So that's the big thing that we're going to be doing. And they're going to do a research log eighth research log and a the midterm survey so woohoo so the big thing is the rhetorical analysis so let's go ahead and kind of go down here so rhetorical analysis uh, similar to the um, annotated bibliography where there's a certain way we have to turn it in so if we click on the assignment itself and then we can go ahead and view the rubric for it so how are you going to get graded on this well okay um did you clearly introduce the topic okay so what what's the uh, the subject what's your topic uh, you know that you've been working on is it medical marijuana is it uh, gun control whatever okay and then um, you'll talk say okay well then you know uh, there is this particular article that uh, was written about this topic you know basically who's the author and who is the intended audience basically who did they write it for just general everybody or do they write it for you know uh, a specific group of people or whatever you know what's the claim they made are they for it are they against it okay and then you have to have a complete paragraph for each element of ethos pathos and logo so i will look through and say okay is there a paragraph that says okay this uses ethos by saying whatever this uses pathos by using whatever this uses logos by using whatever and then here are the examples from the article now not every article is going to have all three of these okay Actually, you know, well-written articles should very use not use a lot of pathos, but it could. Okay, it's possible. Okay, and if you simply cannot find any evidence um, of one of these, to say there is really no evidence uh, that indicates pathos, they did not use any pathos throughout this thing. Um, but you can't do that for all three. <laughs> they've used something. They didn't, may not have used all three, but they've used something. Okay, and then the overall conclusion. Okay, what well, does it clearly support the claim? So if they said, hey, you, we should do this, do they give enough back? background and evidence to prove that okay um, did they use an appropriate tone if they were writing for an academic audience did they use an academic tone okay what else are you going to get graded on uh, so basically APA formatting and title issues again it's all in third person we've talked about that before and the page length is two to five pages so there is that. so that's the how you get graded on that so again to submit it you would browse my computer and upload the file you hit click on I agree and then hit submit Okay, so that's how you do that particular assignment. That's the rhetorical analysis. And again, that's a big chunk of your grade. So what else are we doing this week? Well, um, these are kind of some more reflective fun stuff. Uh, research log eight. You're halfway through English 112 at line online at this point in time. Okay, we've studied several concepts, including research, APA, and the rhetorical analysis. Which concepts do you feel like you understand? Which concepts are a bit fuzzy for you? Okay. And then think about how this class is structured on Blackboard. You know, is it working for you? You know, as far as the way it's laid out, you know, whatever. Um, so this is kind of a general research thing. And then I actually have one that's more specific to me is uh, the midterm survey is what elements of this class are working for you personally? You know, as, uh, as a teacher, what am I doing that's working for you? Um, what elements are, are not as effective? Okay. And what suggestions do you have to make this class better? Now, I will say, this is a side warning here. Um, keep in mind, you as an individual have elected to take an online class. This is an online class. This class is structured to be online. So sometimes on online classes, I'll get a midterm survey feedback and say what's not working for me is I really wish we were meeting in class well uh, well that's not what we do here okay if that's that's not that's nothing I can change I mean you chose to be in the online class okay so think about what's working and what's working or not working in the, the fact that it's an online class okay and I do take these surveys very seriously and I try to become a better professor with each passing class so keep that in mind so those are what we're doing the big thing is the rhetorical analysis and the research log basically just kind of answer some of these questions here and then the midterm survey just answer these three questions and then you'll be in good shape and that takes care of week eight